I usually record myself playing about 10, 20, or even 30 little songs. Those are all the songs in one huge recording. And then I also, at the same time, record separate day files directly from my piano, which is good quality files, good sound quality. Those I record separately and make notes which little recording belongs to which song. For example, this one is 23, and you will know that this specific audio belongs to 23, but you'll have to find it in the sequence and match it up with the audio. I usually match it up right there, zoom it in very closely right there, and I try to match like just perfectly, as perfect as I can. Then I will have to bring the volume of the um, video recording down, or you could just like delete it, but I usually leave it there, just in case I want to edit anything. But the volume of the piano recording, I bring it up a little bit, just a little bit. We don't want it to crack too much. I have that little white rectangle to cover the top area, and of course I align my keyboard perfectly, as perfect as I can. Pay attention to the proportions. On that white rectangle, I usually put the screenshots from the book. I usually do the screenshots and send them to you, or you might just get the book from me and you might make the recordings, uh, I mean the screenshots yourself. Right after that, I, I try to align it so that it maximizes the screen so that the people can see it. I try to do one line only per screen, but in this case it was so compact so I decided to have the two lines. It's actually the student part on the top and the teacher's part on the bottom right there. Um, let me look at a different song. For example, right here, it, it's also a duet. You see the four hands piano that I edited, but I decided that I'm gonna remove the second line because it, the text right here takes so much space. I decided to just cut it off. Look at that little blue line, like the cursor. I make it a line as perfect as I possibly can with the beats of the song. The blue line indicates a new measure, as you see. I zoom in very closely to see where the new beat, the new measure beat is coming. Right there, do you see that? See that moment? Put it exactly in that time frame where uh, the LED light lights up. Boom. Do you see that? For the future songs, what helps me to make it a little quicker, I just copy that and then paste it to the new song. And then I will have to see what tempo I'm playing in, how many beats I have. And then I might just choose to realign them by hand or to change the speed. So I change the speed multiple times or even 10 or 15 times sometimes to match the exact song. But it's still faster than to copy each line and edit it. Anyways, you probably know better ways. And I just go ahead and export them one by one by marking in and out for each specific song. Every time I get the duet, meaning four hands piano right here, I, I'll have to match the two videos and two audios, obviously. Uh, remove the sound from the original audio and bring the sound up of the piano, uh, actual piano sound. I will have to cut somewhere in the middle or where my hands meet so that we can have all of the notes seen. Do you see that little thing right there? My fifth finger, my pinky finger just got cut out. Ideally, if you want to go an extra mile and spend a little bit more time, which I would really appreciate, you would probably want to edit frame by frame or with time frames. If my right hand goes higher, goes to the right, and then it cuts off, you would edit that line correspondingly. And then back whenever right hand, I mean, whenever the top player reached the bottom. Anyways, I did my best right here, but it still had mistakes.